Hi, I'm Naima. Welcome back to my channel and hello to all of the new people who have subscribed in the last couple of weeks. Thank you for, for subscribing. I make videos about living with long COVID and everything I learn along the way. In this video, I'll be talking about a little known drug that has come to the fore in recent months as a potential treatment for long COVID. This drug is called low dose naltrexone or it's commonly known as LDN. As you know, I'm not a doctor. I'm a patient looking to learn as much as I can about the condition. None of what I say should be considered medical advice. In this video, I'm gonna cover what is LDN, why might it help with long COVID, trials that are ongoing, some things to bear in mind, and the potential side effects as well. If you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps other people find these videos. So LDN is a non-toxic and inexpensive drug that is said to help regulate a dysfunctional immune system. In 1984, it was approved by the, the Federal Drug Association in the US for the treatment of opioid addiction at doses of between 50 milligrams and 100 milligrams per day. LDN fits into a class of drugs called opiate antagonists and they block the effect of opioids. In more recent years, we've learned that the same drug at a lower dose, around 10 to 40 times lower, can suppress unwanted immune reactions and stimulate immune activity. LDN has helped patients with the following things, reducing pain, fighting inflammation, and autoimmune diseases. In the LDN book, which I highly recommend if you want to understand this drug a bit better, Dr. Linda Elskud, the author, takes us through how she's used LDN on patients for autoimmune joint diseases, rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, IBS, celiac, fibromyalgia, CFS, and many other diseases. Dr. Elskud grew disillusioned with having so many chronic patients come to her needing help and only being offered management techniques she found LDN to be extremely impactful in such a wide range of conditions. Ellsgood argues that many outward diseases are expressions of a malfunctioning immune system and that by decreasing the inflammatory cytokines produced in the gut and by altering the cellular balance of autoimmune diseases, LDN supports the immune system to improve the balance of the microbiome. So why might it help with long COVID? We know that long COVID has a complicated patchwork of causes and effects, and we're just in the early stages of discovering what these might be. And it can lead to a wide range of symptoms, over 200 in fact. But it is possible that immune dysfunction is at play, increasing the amount of inflammation in the body. Conditions like fibromyalgia and ME-CFS have had some success with LDN, and there is a definite crossover in terms of symptoms with these conditions and long COVID. We're very much in the early stages of discovery with, with long COVID and with LDN as a potential treatment. Even though I'm optimistic and I've heard anecdotally about so many people with long COVID finding LDN to have been completely trans transformational for their recoveries, I want to caveat this by saying that it's nowhere near going through all the hoops and research. It would need to be approved as a definitive treatment for the condition. Prior to long COVID, there have been several small studies for LDN, for fibromyalgia and, and ME-CFS, which had shown some promising results, but these were very small studies. So one had 32 patients and the other had just 12. There have been a few others on LDN and chronic pain as well, again, with quite small, small sample sizes. There have now been a couple of trials for long LDN and long COVID, which are so far also very very promising, but again quite small, with one having 52 patients and another with 36. I would say that things are looking promising, but more research is needed. 
as I was doing this research, I'm also considering taking it myself. And along with the fact that we're at the preliminary stages of research, there are three other things that I'm trying to bear in mind that I encourage you to as well. Number one, a lot of evidence we have for this drug is still anecdotal. Secondly, there are many types of long COVID with different symptoms and presentations that need to be disentangled. LDN might work for certain people and it might not work for others. So we do not yet know what symptoms or what presentations of the disease this drug could, could be effective for. And lastly, there most likely will be some educating required when you do tell your doctor or GP that you want to take LDN and have it be prescribed for something that has not yet gained approval as a treatment for long COVID. Because of how many symptoms long COVID creates, I always do a bit of research into the side effects of any medication that I'm considering taking. I do not have room for any new symptoms that are gonna be long-term. I, I have had my fair share of symptoms at this point. There are a few potential side effects with LDN, including things like nightmares, insomnia, and vivid dreams. This can happen in the initial phase and is eased by switching to taking LDN in the morning. Stomach cramps or diarrhea Diarrhea, and this usually lasts a couple of weeks. There can be headaches during the initial phase and these usually go away for a couple of days with most people. A few other common side effects include shivers, cold or flu-like symptoms, and these are most common with people who have ME-CFS and they shouldn't persist for more than 24 hours and if they do, it's important to speak to a healthcare professional. LDN is definitely something that I am exploring as a potential next step for my long COVID recovery, but I would love to hear from you as well. Have you heard of LDN? Would you take it or have you taken it? And I would love to hear if it has had a positive outcome for your your long covid recovery if you're new here don't forget to like and subscribe there's a video on screen where i talk about my experience with natto kinase thanks for watching i'll see you in my next video